Hello and welcome back to part 2 of setting up a new network using a 3850 switch along with an ASA 5510 firewall. In part 1 we set up our infrastructure using two separate ISPs and a 3850 switch. In part 2, in this video I'll show you how to set up an IP SLA. Obviously the prerequisite is to have two separate ISPs which we have already fulfilled in my previous video. So we'll go ahead and get started. The script for this one will be posted in the description as um, as in the first video. So if you remember from the first video we have the 3850 switch and we have the separate different VLANs we've set up. We have VLAN 11 and VLAN 12 and the reason there's nothing showing up here is because these are trunk and they're trunk to two separate firewalls. So if I say show interface trunk, you can see these are our trunking ports and they're allowing all the VLANs to come through. So a switch is set up and it's ready to go. So for IP SLA, um, another thing I wanted to mention for IP SLA, you have to put them in two separate broadcast domains. Because if you have just one VLAN or one broadcast domain and it's connected to two, two separate uh, ISPs, the switchover is not going to work because it's detecting that the same it's the same broadcast domain, so it's not going to work. So you need to have two separate broadcast domains. I found that out the hard way, but I'm glad I did, and it's working beautifully. All right. So what we need to do at this point is um, initiate our IPSLA command. So we have to go in as go into the config mode. Okay. So now that we're in config mode, we're going to go in and set up our IP SLA. I'm going to type in IP SLA. If I had question mark, it tells us everything that we are able to do with IP, with an IP SLA command. Right now, we have no IP SLA set up, so we're going to give it a number. Obviously, you can choose one, two, three different numbers for however, however many IP SLAs that you're going to have. And you can have more than one. So in this case, we're going to do one because we're the first one. All right, so now if you notice, we're in the IP SLA. Here, we're going to type ICMP echo. What I'm stating here is I want to ping 8.8.8.8. I'm just choosing 8.8.8 because that's a public DNS. Preferably, you, uh, you want to ping something on a uh, public IP of your, or your internet on your uh, uh, address. But in this case, we're choosing Google and we want to source this from an IP of our route uh, our layer 3 switch 10.10.11.2 if we remember I want this IP to track the SLA because this is connected to two separate ISPs we're gonna hit enter here we specify the frequency how often do you want it to go out and and ping Frequency, I want five seconds. Okay, now that we're done, now that we set this up, um, okay, and again, you can hit question mark and they'll tell you everything that's, that's available. Okay, so I'm gonna hit exit and now I'm gonna type IP SLA schedule one because that's the SLA one that we set up life how long do we want this to run for forever okay I want it to start now so now our IP SLA is set up very simple once we set up our IP SLA that we need to because the this section right now is pinging 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. Well, we need to have a way of it, uh, tracking this. So if this goes down, how, how is the switch going to know? Well, for that, we use the track command. So we need to do is track one. Remember, you can have multiple tracks just like IP SLA. Track one, IP SLA one, because 
we're setting up a new track called track 1 and we wanted to ping IPSLA 1 which we created earlier and we wanted to track reachability is it going to go there is it available yes or no we hit enter and now we specify um, if it detects that the ISP is d down what do we want it to do we're going to say we wanted to delay down by 60 seconds meaning wait a minute and then switch over once it detects that everything is back up we want it to switch back in 15 mm -hmm. seconds that's what this delay down 60 up 15 seconds does okay now we're done we have set up our IP SLA fairly easy and to do that we can say show IP SLA summary and it tells us that if it's out there right now I'm, my switch is not connected to the internet so uh, that's why it's not showing anything but you'll see in a little bit that it's actually pinging now this will say okay and if I say show track one it's actually tracking the reachability and detect that it is down and so that's why you get this message normally this will be up like I said my I've disconnected my switch for demonstration purposes okay once we set up our IP SLA and track then we need to add three different static routes to our switch so the first one would be our main route so when we're gonna make sure we're logged in into the um, config mode as we are and I'm gonna type in IP route zero 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 which is the any route and I want this to go through 10.10.11.1 which is our primary gateway if you remember from the previous diagram and in case you don't remember here is this diagram 11.1 we want the traffic to flow here that's our primary route and this is the IP SLA which is 12.1 so we type in the route and then we're going to type in track 1 after remember track 1 is what tracks the IP SLA so we're going to add on track 1 after this IP route so this is basically called object tracking and that's what we're doing right now we're tracking this object so that's the first route the second route we're going to add is IP route same thing but this time we're going to say 12.1 the secondary route secondary route and we're going to give it a higher metric so um, when it processes things it's going to it's going to process this route later. So the 250 is just a metric that we gave it, which is higher than the, the first one. So now we've added our secondary route. And the third route would be because remember, we're tracking Google public DNS, which is the 8888. Well, I want to force that route to go through the primary route. That's how it's going to be tracking it and that's how it's going to know that that route is down if something happens so we're going to say 8888 255, 255, 255 all the way across and that's going to be through our primary route and that's it so now if I say do show run include IP route you're going to see the same routes that we just typed in see these are the three routes that we have now if I type in to show IP SLA summary we get that to show IP track 1 uh, to show IP 
you show track one we have our track obviously it shows us down because I have the uh, switch unplugged which I'll plug in in a few minutes and we'll do some testing and you'll see how it switches automatically so we're gonna be doing some testing now and you're gonna see the routes automatically change based on the object tracking that we're doing show IP or show track one show track one see track is up okay so it's telling us that our SLA is up that means the primary route is up and see how the primary route is right here static route 11.1 now I'm gonna go ahead and take down the primary route and you'll see it's gonna automatically switch over to the secondary route and all traffic will start flowing through the secondary route here and watch this okay I just disconnected show IP route and remember we said uh, 60 seconds right it's gonna hold it, hold it for 60 seconds so let's see Twenty-two seconds remaining. Fourteen seconds. Nine seconds. Seven. Five. Now watch this. Bam! It switched over. See? We got the message that it went down. And it automatically switched over to the secondary route and all your traffic will not flow through the secondary route. Pretty neat, huh? See, it's down right now. And it switched over. So now I'm going to bring back the primary route. And it's going to wait 15 seconds. Remember we said up 15. Fourteen seconds, twelve seconds, three seconds, and bam! Right here, we got a we got a message that it came up. There you go. It switched over to the primary route, and this is how IPSLA is set up. So now we're perfect now now anyone on the internal right here can be working and if the ISP fails it'll switch over automatically thanks